Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another Monster Hunter Generations video and another episode of Mix Set Monday. This is the final episode of the year. This is going to be a special episode. There will be two mix sets in this one episode, partly to make up for the fact that there was a big gap in episodes a couple of weeks back, but also because I'm going to be taking a few weeks off over Christmas. I'm heading to Japan for the new year, so I'm going to be away for a little bit. So this will be the last episode of this year. And then in about three, maybe four weeks time, I will then get started again with the series and I'll of course go and revisit some of the sets that you guys have submitted. So feel free to keep submitting sets down below, I will definitely get around to them. But if you guys do enjoy today's episode, then a like would be super appreciated. As always, let me know what you think of these sets in the comments down below. But let's get started. So first up, this is a ranged set. Yes, I know I don't do these that often, but this one comes from Upper Cuddy. I believe that's how you pronounce your name. This is an elemental bow set. Now, yes, I appreciate for bow users out there. Pretty much the be all and end all go to bow is the Teostra bow. And while yes, that is true, if you do feel like kind of mixing things up and actually going down the elemental path, then this is an option. So this is comprised of the Hayabusa Feather, the Senator Vest R, the Crusher Braces, the Vite Coat S, and the Chrome Metal Feet. This will also require a plus five three slot fast charge talisman, which at the moment I don't have. I have a plus five fast charge talisman, just not three slots. So for the purposes of this, just to show you guys the skills in slot, I have thrown on a three slot bow. This is not a bow that you would use because it's not an elemental bow. So for the purposes of this, ignore the bow completely. This is just so that I can show you guys the outcome. Now on top of that, you're also gonna need one elemental jewel one, one expert jewel two, and one elemental jewel three. The elemental jewel three would ideally go in your three slot talisman. And of course the expert jewel goes in the white coat and the elemental jewel goes in the senator vest. With all that combined, you get four skills. You get Critical Eye plus three, Element Attack Up, Ammo Saver, and Focus. Nothing super crazy, but it is a nice set, it's easy to make, and it will of course complement any Elemental Bow very nicely. Critical Eye plus three, of course, increase your affinity by 30%. Element Attack Up increases the power of Elemental Attacks. Ammo Saver makes it so that occasionally, ammo or files are returned to your inventory when firing. And Focus, while it has utility for a wide range of weapons, for the purposes of the bow, it shortens your charge times. Very useful. And that's pretty much it. It is literally that simple, a few nice skills that complement different elemental bows. And one of the nice things is, of course, if you do go down the elemental route, then there are plenty of bows for you to choose from, which of course means you are then free to, say, you know, pair your elemental bow with the monster that you're fighting and then get some variety in your hunting. Because while, yes, admittedly, if you're a bow user, you probably have the Teostra bow and it probably doesn't leave your side that often, it is nice from time to time just to mix things up and mess around with some of the weapons that are available in this game. I do the same for Blade Master weapons, it might not necessarily always be the best, but sometimes it's just fun to play with. Anyway, that's the bow set, that's from Apocardi, so thank you very much for submitting that one. Now let's turn our attention to another set. Now just before you guys give me crap in the comments for this one, yes, I apologise, it is another status bludgeoner set, but there is a very good reason that I chose this one today, and that is because it's not just like the other ones, this one is actually focused a lot more around capturing monsters, it's got Capture Guru in it, and the reason I chose that is because I know a lot of people out there are not necessarily the biggest fans of capture quests. Sometimes you accidentally kill the monster. Sometimes you place your trap in the wrong place and, you know, the monster runs away. There are loads of frustrations associated with it, and that's understandable. So this set not only gives you a way to avoid those frustrations, but also some useful skills on top so you can still output some good damage and control the monster. This one comes from Renka, and the other reason that I like this one so much was just the way that Renka actually submitted the set. He actually wrote this in a really cool way, like a sort of TV commercial, as if someone was trying to advertise the set. And it was really, really cool. So in fact, I'm actually going to leave a link to the comment in the description box down below so you guys can check it out because it's just a really good read. It's really funny, really nicely thought out. But needless to say, it's still a really fun set and something that I personally would make good use of. This set is comprised of the Sword Saint Earring, the Chaos Archplate, the Black Belt Braces S, the Chrome Metal Coil and a Cantor Hessian R. Now you can actually swap out the Sword Saint Earring for the Hayabusa Feather if you would rather have Critical Eye as opposed to Mind's Eye. It is entirely up to you, but this is the set as it was designed by Renka. You're also going to need a plus five blunt three slot talisman. Again, yes, I know it's one of those slightly hard to get ones, but you can still get them through, say, the coal farming quest. So do check that one out if you do want to get it. But on top of that, for talisman, now it's worth noting, I followed this post to the letter and I actually came up one slot short. So I could have, of course, gone to a three slot weapon, but I'm not sure, Renko, if you're watching this, I don't know whether you had, say, a talisman that also had, say, a plus two in another skill and might have kind of forgotten about it. But either way, I wasn't able to achieve these skills with this configuration, but with some sensible kind of decoration shuffling, I was still able to get the skills. So if you're going to follow my instructions, what you're going to need are five Trapmaster Jewel 1s, 
three Perception Jewel 1s and one Disabler Jewel 2. The Disabler Jewel 2 and one of the Perception Jewel 1s has to go in the chest piece to take advantage of Torso Up, but when you have all of that in place, you will then have five very nice skills. You of course have Status Attack plus 2, which again increases the potency of abnormal status attacks. You have Mind's Eye, which prevents your attacks from being deflected, which is of course useful because you're going to be using, say, a Sword and Shield with green sharpness, and the higher up you go quest-wise, then you kind of might encounter bouncing as you go. You have Bludgeoner, which of course increases your attack based on how low the sharpness of your weapon is, and that is of course best used with green sharpness. And then on top of that, to make this slightly different and more focused towards capturing, you also have Capture Guru, which will basically tell you when a large monster can be captured. If you throw a paintball on it, then it's normally pink, but if it starts flashing, that means it's ready to capture. So even if it's not limping, but it's flashing on your map, then it's ready to go. And to kind of pair with that, you also have Trap Master, which not only guarantees trap combinations will succeed, but it also speeds up trap and bomb setting time. So then, of course, you can kind of bring with you the items needed to make more traps. So if you do place one down, it gets destroyed. Maybe the timing isn't right. Then, of course, you do have the option to make more. And if you then look at this whole thing combined, it actually makes a really, really nice set. Because Status Attack Plus 2 paired with something like Death Prize means you will be paralyzing the monster very, very frequently. Of course, Mind's Eye and Bludgeoner mean that you'll be able to get out some nice damage. You won't be bouncing as much, which will, of course, you know, mean that you can attack much faster. And Bludgeoner with Green Sharpness will, of course, help with your damage output. And then, as mentioned, if you guys ever have trouble with capture quests, Capture Guru will make it so that you never fail a quest. Well, provided you can actually get the monster to go into the trap. That bit you have to do yourself. But in terms of actually ascertaining when the monster is ready to capture, then this is going to be very useful. So if you guys do have any quests, maybe you find capture quests really frustrating, then definitely consider checking this out. It's a lot of fun to play with, and it'll also make your life a hell of a lot easier. So, there you have it. Those are your two sets for today's episode. Yes, as mentioned, I do apologise for kind of having another status attack set. I will try and avoid those going into the new year. I will be sure to pick some things that are drastically different, but I did see this one, and I thought, you know what? It's really cool. I like the Capture Guru and the Trap Master in combination, so I'm going to show it to you guys anyway. So, thank you to everyone that submitted it so far. As mentioned, keep submitting your sets in the comments down below. I will pick them when I get back, and there will be new episodes in the new year, and I'll of course go and revisit those ones. So, thank you for watching. Hopefully you guys have a good holiday, and take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.